Jack's first day. Um, I didn't go up. I stayed on the lawn with the other kids <laughs> yeah. and let Nick take it. Yeah, him up. he was he was fine. Um, we got up to oh well, we we went and got him unpacked because we had to drop our daughter off at Loretto first. So we went then we went over to Joey's and got him unpacked. Went to the H's and had dinner. We sort of did a bit of a settling in, you know, sort of there. And then we got back to school and Kate said, oh, I'm going to wait here with the other kids. So I took him up and, um, oh, look, there were other boys, you know, coming up, you know, friends of mine who had sons there. Their sons had come up and introduced themselves and then off he went and just started making friends. And he was, he was good. So because he was good, it was, it was good for us. And you, know? you had to actually give him a nudge to say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was leaving and I couldn't find him. So I had to go up and find him in where he was talking to all these new friends that he had and uh, say goodbye. And yeah, we left. So because he was so good, then it made it pretty easy on us. Yeah. Uh, he came from a school of 100 kids, um, and I think there were four or five boys in his class, to then just being in Boysville. I think he just loves it, the fact that they play football all the time and play all the time. I think he was exhausted. We wanted Sydney for our, our you know, three girls and our son. We wanted them to go to boarding school in Sydney, so I thought having a... Um, Having a, a city experience. Yes, yeah, a, a city experience and mainly Sydney experience. So say that they were to come back to we War after school, we wanted them to have an experience living in a big city. And um, yeah, and I wanted um, I wanted them to have friends from, from Sydney. I wanted them to have Sydney friends. So if they ended up in Sydney, then they had a network of friends there. And Joey's has a great community atmosphere that I think... Um, is, it's very evident at Joey's, where some as some other schools it takes a little while before you notice it, whereas it's very evident straight away at Joey's, not just for the boys, but for the, the whole family. Um, the whole family is always included. Socially, it's lovely. We could have a lot of, um, a lot of messages and emails, like from the parent committee, as well as just from friends who were there, just saying, if you need anything for Jack, please let us know. Um, and the, the school dad, Mr. Uh, John Wan, John Wan yeah. he sent a beautiful email, you know, saying that he's, he's close by, anything you need, they can sort out for us. So um, it, it was very supportive. Yeah. Lots of friends would always, you know, just text and say they'd seen him. And, you know, I think someone was saying he had three wet towels and, you know, make him clean up his area. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It was quite comforting, actually. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of we a lot of friends in Sydney who have boys there, and you know they're all, always saying, you know, they're, they're willing to help if we need it. But also, um, people that we don't really know, you just get emails like from John Wan and um, and other parents that are on the committee, and they're always offering to help because they know we're you know we're not so close. So if something was to come up, then um, they're more than happy to get around there and, and support in any way they can. And with the COVID um, as well, um, we had to submit um, what would happen if the school had to close down, who would take the kids. And I was sort of suggesting to Jack that he might, you know, go to one of his auntie's houses. And he straight away said, oh, no, 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 I've already organised. I'm going to someone, someone else's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it took about two weeks, I think, before he first got homesick. And everyone that we spoke to in that two weeks said, oh, we've just seen Jack and they'd have photos with Jack. And... He, he, he's loving it. He's loving it, you know. It's, it's boy heaven for him. So Yeah, he well, being here with three sisters, it was just, he was just loving it to be amongst a group of boys there. Yeah. I think if you had to put him in year seven and he's in a room on his own, it may, may have been a fairly lonely sort of experience. Um, but at the, you know, he, he, I think he just, he loves coming up to the dorm and, you know, whether it's watching a game of footy of an evening or just mucked around with his mates. He talks about um, how they sit around and have story time. <laughs> and Mr Blair, uh, I, th I think Mr Blair will tell them, tell them something or then one of the kids will get in the story chair and tell them a story about something that, you know, that they've done. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a family environment, really. Yeah. yeah. When he tried the uniform on here, it was the first time I saw it. And I don't know, I just started to think, you know, I, yeah, I hope he does well. I hope he has good friends. I hope you know he's not on the outer. And but it's um, it's it, it's been such a positive experience. Her, but to see him in his uniform, it, 
I don't know. It just made you feel nervous about his next, his next, um, the next stage of his life. But it, yeah, it's been nothing but positive, really. Mm, it's been all good. Yeah. I think he was worried that um, coming from a smaller school in the country that he'd be a bit behind. But he really, um, he was really diligent with his work. Mm. Yeah, that was a real surprise because he was by no means like that here. And um, yeah, I went down. In year seven, I went down once in March just on my own, and he he bought he bought books out with him and did about an hour study in the hotel. And, um, yeah, I, I couldn't believe it, but he was doing it, and he seems to be applying himself, which is a pleasant surprise. Mm. Mm. Um, I was unable to make parent-teacher interviews last year because I was going to be going away, and so I just emailed them all individually and heard back by all of them that afternoon. Had a five-minute phone call with them all, and it was. No, no problems at all. It was very easy. Yeah. Yeah, I've got absolute confidence that they're in them. That they're um, <clears throat> Jack's welfare is just the utmost importance to them. I, um, I just feel really, you know, confident in his uh, in his safety and um, and that he's being looked after there. And yeah, I guess because I know a few of them as well. But the ones that I've only just met, they um, yeah, they just. Um, they just seem to be in it for, you know, for the good of the boys. Yeah. And even with the COVID, Jack was having issues with his internet access and his French teacher um, before the holidays um, contacted me and sent me um, a sound um, USB um, so he could do his exam on an audio file and sent me the exam by mail and um, sort of went above and beyond just to make sure he could get his assessment done correctly so yeah yeah um you know i'm i'm happy yeah, i'm happy with it i like i've got a lot of friends who have got kids there they all seem happy with it people that i've just met that have um sons in jack's year they they all just seem like they um they're happy with the choice they made to send their sons to joe's and um yeah and they feel they feel, uh, they feel a part of the, the school community and um, I, yeah, I'd highly recommend it to, to any, anyone that was interested in listening to me about it.